But Kelly, and we're in for some hot temperatures later this week. Yeah, it may start to feel more like summertime than our spring as we head into our Friday and Mother's Day week and a lot of heat on the way. But first, uh, not quite there just yet. It's a beautiful morning out on this, on this uh, Monday morning. We're seeing temperatures a little cool, though, in the upper 30s, low 40s here around the valley and out towards the coast. A lot of sunshine for spots, so that's why we have seen a cooler start this morning. Even a little bit of fog reported up in North Portland by the airport. But here's your view of downtown. It's uh, bright and beautiful as we start. It is partly cloudy too and moving forward. We'll see a mix of clouds and sun today. Overall staying pleasant and our highs today still in the upper 60s. So a great day uh, for some walks around outside to get a break. Uh, it should be a nice afternoon, but we are watching some rain on the way. Dry for now in the valley, but the coast is starting to see some light showers working on in. Here's our system that we're watching and a very weak warm front is scooting on by. So the coast is getting clipped with some light showers as we head towards our afternoon, that's when the cold front works in and we could see more rain for the coast and even some light showers here in Portland by tonight. So we'll be watching that as we head into our evening time. We'll see an increase of clouds by the later afternoon and by tonight a chance we see some light showers here around the region. Portions of the coast could even see some heavier showers as some rain cells develop and push on through. So tonight we'll be tracking some rain here around the valley. It does move out quickly and as we head into our morning on Tuesday, drying out the afternoon looking partly sunny again. So a beautiful day tomorrow and we'll even see temperatures hiking up towards the 70s. Come Wednesday, our second system of the week rolls in and we'll see a better chance for some showers through the afternoon on Wednesday before we dry out and we start to heat up. So take a look at this. We track upper level temperatures and we're seeing a very warm trend working in as we head towards Thursday and beyond. All this heat from the south starts to climb up the valley here and that paired with offshore winds from the east will really increase our temperatures moving into our Thursday and Mother's Day weekend. So there's a good span of days here where we see warm temperatures that will likely climb towards the 80s for the first time this year. And we typically see the 80s around the late April time frame, early May. So this is not out of the ordinary, but certainly above normal. Average temperatures this time of the year should be in the mid 60s. So we'll see that today. Come Tuesday, a little bit warmer. Let me cool down as that uh, second system rolls in, bringing a little bit uh, colder air into the region. But by Thursday, we'll dry out and we'll hike those temperatures up. And Friday, likely our first day in the 80s. And that sticks around into Mother's Day uh, weekend as well. So some summer like heat, those temperatures feeling more like July and August. Uh, there's a chance we get that this weekend. But for today, mid 60s, we'll keep it partly cloudy with increasing clouds by tonight. The coast even a chance for showers by the afternoon here as temperatures stay in the upper 50s out towards the beaches. So here's our seven day forecast mid 60s today. Then we see a bit of a climb into Tuesday and overall our afternoon should stay mainly dry. There will be periods that'll be great to get outside and go for a walk or a run, get some exercise. Come Wednesday, likely the rainiest day of the week, but by Thursday, drier, a lot more sunshine and really warming towards the 80s as we head towards Friday and the weekend. Carly.